Hi Stargazers, Arik here. Let's talk about the 2022 forecast. There's a lot going on next year. I'm really excited to talk all about it and see what's available to us throughout the new year. Okay, so let's begin with Aries. So you have some interesting things that to be mindful of this year, Aries. So obviously you have the Two of Swords. This is about uh, strengthening your intuition this year and making it a priority to listen. You are healing in your relationships and learning to trust in yourself more throughout the year. Jupiter will knock on your sign, which will ask you to grow and begin thinking about major changes in your life. But you have a lot of good fortune and blessings that want to manifest, but you have to heal those wounds that cause you to think that you're still not good enough for them. So this is about controlling your thoughts and using your words with authority. So important now during this time. Okay, Taurus. All right, so this is, this is a year of unexpected direction. So what you thought would go one way could turn into another this year. So how do you make spirituality a priority in your life? There is so much going on in Taurus this year with the eclipses and the nodes and all the Uranus turbulence shaking things up. You will not be able to get through the year without some sort of unshakable spirituality or belief system. So see what you have, focus on these things, and don't focus on what you don't have or what you're lacking, okay? You may be tempted to get fixated on what you're lacking, but you need to make it a priority to get out of deprivation. So this is about learning the lesson and venturing into new worlds this year. Gemini. There is a fear of emotions that's blocking your growth, okay? When Mars goes retrograde in your sign, you may have an even more challenging time making choices. This may be the year when you stop thinking about love and open your heart to it to really dive deep into it. Your challenge this year and without spiritual priorities, you'll have no chance at integrating your experiences, but there's a lot of opportunity for growth. Boundaries are important. Don't move too quickly. You'll, you'll need to get grounded in order to heal the stress and perhaps even some kind of like sexual wounds from the past. In order to not replace your intuition with suspicion, you'll need to stand up for what you believe in. Your intuition is a result of having clear emotions and it will guide you throughout the year. Spirituality is not intellectual, it is life supporting. Try to take your curiosity to the next level by making what you learn a part of you. Cancer. You're focused on the top this year. There is so much more the world has to offer you and you are capable of receiving so much more than you could have ever imagined. The energy is high for you this year. It's the kind of positive energy that could overwhelm you if you're not strengthening yourself. Stability is your task throughout the year. You understand the ebb and flow of life, but you cannot react to it. This means if you have your spiritual priorities in order, you will not react to the illusionary world. There is so much treasure and fortune coming your way in order for you to inspire and circulate it back out into the metaverse. I'm sorry, back into the world. Leo. Can you keep your priorities in the face of your friends? Or are you so desperate to be adored and admired that you'll dim your light to be accepted? Your priorities will tell you where you stand with self-defeating attitudes, or maybe you want power over others yourself. There are feelings of separation and shame coming up within your circle of friends, but this is great because you don't have time to play the game as you are able to walk away from drama before it even begins. You're motivated to succeed this year and you know who you are. Stand up for your spiritual goals and your priorities and speak up. 
You don't need to prove others wrong because your actions will show the right way. Virgo. Your spiritual nature and priorities are the result of a lifetime of experience, either in this lifetime or from a prior lifetime. This year, they will work deep within you. It's a year for deep meditation and contemplation. It's important because there could be some distraction within you. Do not be afraid of success or causing pain. Be interested in life and abandon the five senses for a higher perspective. Achievement with whatever you want is right within your reach. This is a year for healing and regeneration and seeing tomorrow, today. Libra. You can focus your energy within this year. There are many prospects on the horizon and you can move into any direction that you wish. The problem that arises, obviously, is whether or not it's the direction your spiritual priorities want you to go in. You could find pushback if you're on the wrong path, which is a blessing. You can easily pick yourself up and shift gears this year. It's very important that you allow your spiritual connection to guide you in love and in career. Some days you might feel pushed forward, and some days you might feel like you're drifting. Don't worry, it's a 22 year and you're finding your place in this lighter world. Mercury will retrograde in your sign on September 10th, asking you to be extra clear with extra love. Scorpio, where you still have uncertainty is where you are still thinking small. This year, you see where you are illusioned by your filters and lack spiritual priorities. The south node will enter your sign at the beginning of the year, unleashing a lot of Scorpio fate into the atmosphere. It's a good time to lift these veils and address your fears in order to destroy them. You can walk right through them and get certainty about your life. The sadness and regret you are carrying around wants to shed now. You can release pain as you learn the lesson it's trying to teach you, which will release you from any suffering. Your priorities will change and you'll tap into the power of certainty. Sagittarius, self-preservation won't save you this year. It's time to do good things because you want to, not because it boosts your ego. Of course, you could keep doing it for the ego boost, but it would only contribute to your onslaught of negative thoughts. You're a bit blind when it comes to looking into the mirror. The assumptions and helplessness can be lifted this year as you make spirituality a priority. You do this by opening your eyes to the payoff of transformation and humility. You need to understand that your choices have an effect on yourself, others, and the world. You're more energized and sensitive this year. You want to make a change finally. The universe supports this optimistic endeavor. Capricorn. This is the final year Pluto will entirely occupy your sign. It's been a long time coming and you've been going to major transformations and will have a story to tell. Tap into your emotions and share them with others. The priority is connecting with others and finding the love that comes from bonding, not bondage. You'll learn that bonding is not bondage and that you don't need to control others in order to love them. You have a hard task of knowing how important it is to set your spiritual priorities if you want to truly be successful. You'll have to pay the price of time, but then you'll find that you'll gain time. Appreciate what you have and remember that true abundance comes from the spiritual realm, not from crypto. Aquarius, this year you will become unjammed. It's a year of turning off your reactive tendencies. Spiritual priorities will be activated by appreciating health, competition, and practicing your skills. Without these spiritual priorities, you will confuse your ego for your intuition. This year wants you to draw energy from your ego so that you can be proactive with everything that you do. It's time to be honest about self-deception so that you can truly find love for yourself and others. 
Mars and Venus will meet in your sign on March 6th, so love life, but not too much. When Mercury goes retrograde in your sign at the beginning of the year, you're setting the stage for improvements and creative tension that creates beautiful outcomes. Again, if you have your spiritual priorities in order, meaning that you want to outgrow old patterns. And finally, Pisces, this year you will learn that you don't have to settle for less as Jupiter splashes around in your sign. Your spiritual commitment and priorities can lift you to a higher level of understanding. Then you will see that you've been living in the dark and that you don't belong there. The repetitive life you've been living will start to change as you do. Your robot mindset can reset if you have the spiritual priorities activated, which are applying your knowledge and integrating it into your life. Work hard and pay attention to the details if you want to understand the why to any question. Neptune will do a big number on your sign in Friday, so I'm sorry, in February. So get ready to be lifted to a higher dimension. Share with others what you feel. So that was the sign by sign forecast. If you want more information or you want to read all this, you can read it all on zodiacax.com. And if you want more specific information, you'll need to book a chart reading. You can do a six month a birth chart, transits progressions. Um, and of course, we are offering all the uh, transformational life changing programs as well to help anyone overcome their fate with healings and atonements and you know essential oils and all kinds of things make spirituality a priority now is not the time to waste time with any of that please like subscribe and share this with anybody in your reality you guys thank you so much wishing you all a wonderful new year and more to come my name is Arik. goodbye